hear that? Nothing signals a busy economy at work more than the modern warehouse. What we do for our customers is fix the things that they don't want to fix. They have problems that may seem insurmountable in their supply chain and they depend on us. We fix problems every single day. They assemble, pick, pack, ship, manufacture. But it wasn't always this way. Early warehouses functioned on a completely manual level with goods being loaded onto slow-moving horse-drawn carts. Every time I used to complain as a kid about working too hard and my father would tell me that there's no, there were no forklifts in those days, but rather we had to hand load and hand offload trucks. Uh, they would unload a lot of rail cars, but a lot of stuff that came in, in heavy bags, you know, 100, 120 pound bags, that all of that was unloaded by hand. I mean, that's just the way that it, that it was. And then you would build the palace within the warehouse. 125 years ago, the founding fathers of the American Warehousemen's Association stood united in a common goal. We believe that cooperative competition is better than antagonistic competition, and that by its aid, we can give better service to our customers at less cost to them and greater profit to ourselves. This sentiment still holds true for members of the International Warehouse Logistics Association, who continue to band together as one, communicating the value of warehousing as the fabric of North American economic prosperity. IWA gave me a chance to have great training right from the start, exposure to other warehouse operators, and really a structured training program to teach me how to be a good warehouse operator. What I like about the industry is it's, it's an industry that's never going to go anywhere. We're kind of a core foundational aspect of the economy. Uh, people are always going to need to get products and goods from point A to point B. We've become the voice of our industry in Washington, D.C. Very often, well-meaning legislation is written in such a way that, that uh, inadvertently uh, damages uh, some aspect of our industry or has, has negative consequences. We were able to actually guide the rulemaking process and be a part of that. And uh, legislators are starting to call us and asking us questions about how does this affect the 3PL warehouse industry. That's a great position to be in when they start to call us because of our relationship with them. That's a really good place to be. Today, Warehousing is a thriving industry in North America. But this stature would never have been possible were it not for the individual men and women upon whose vision and dedication it was built. It kind of gets in your blood. It was really great to be able to impact people um, with values as far as a company, uh, treating people right, continuing really to create that great reputation of the organization um, that my dad had built. New technology has and continues to transform warehouses and expedite the movement of goods. Uh, when I joined OHL in 1990, we did not have any laptops. Uh, all of our computers were dumb terminals. And uh, we used to receive orders via uh, fax machine or in some instances through the U.S. mail. Everything from robotics to drones, I think, are coming to our industry and it's going to change things dramatically. And if you want to be on the front end of that and uh, ride that wave towards the future, this is a great time to be here and to be involved. The process of new technologies, we're all doing that at the same time and, and sharing best practices. So I think that having anything last for 25 years is pretty impressive. So I think that we're well positioned for many years to come as well due to a lot of great folks that came before us. And the IWLA exists to educate, represent, and connect the industry. There is no more appropriate time or place than here at IWLA Convention and Expo to thank your warehouse logistics peers for their passion and creativity. Please join us in honoring 125 years of achievement and thank our founding fathers who had the foresight to unite and pave the path towards success.